morning. Our group consisted of the brainstormers. Ben Pierre. Juan Sizia. And this is Gamdi. And our Materi. Observers. Jeden Shankriva. Harris Bay. And the leader and facilitator. Caitlin Como. <laughs> the brainstormers of our groups were decided based on the members who had ideas for the design. The group leader was the first person to take action in our group, and the observers were the members of the group who felt most comfortable taking notes. Um, our group first sparked ideas by visiting the site and observing the surroundings and deciding what was needed to be accomplished. During our brainstorming, we generated ideas with pros and cons considered. And from these pros and cons, news, new ideas were determined. Everyone contributed to our new ideas and improving old ideas. The observers determined that our group had three waves in our brainstorming process. The first wave was when our original ideas were thought of after visiting the site. Our second wave was when we revisited and revised our original ideas that were likely to be successful. And our third wave was when we revisited the actual site and surroundings that the design was to take place to trigger new ideas. During our brainstorming, no ideas were neglected or criticized, and each brainstormer was encouraged to put input into each idea by the facilitator. And from from this, the observers saw that each group member fed off of each other, and opinions and thoughts were combined. Also during our brainstorming, we determined that some ideas may, may have been unrealistic, but these only helped to motivate our group to think outside the box. Our group was successful in coming up with many ideas and deciding on a solution to our design problem, while keeping each group member involved in the process. From this brainstorming activity, we seem to become more comfortable as a group working together.